Hey, welcome to UPM Racing Teams Workshop. Today I want to show you three things you need to know to get started in motorsport wiring. So first, what software we use, then how to do a decent wiring layout as you can see here, and then a very handy machine you probably have and you don't know it tags wires like a charm. So since chaos is the enemy of motorsport wiring, here's how we are dealing with meters and meters of cables and wire. As you can see here in this table, we have printed a 2D version of our single-seater electric car. We could have done a branch-like layout, but with this method, you can see at a glance what harness goes where in the car. To fix the cables to the table, an easy solution is to use straps of a roll of ribbon and some tacks. It gets the job done, and as you can see here, the cables are not going anywhere. You might have already noticed, there is some time holding together some bundles of cables. This is a temporary cable lacing that we did with wool as follows. In the first knot, the twine comes always from the right and goes over the cable, like so. Then, for the next loop, bring it over everything that was before. The final loop goes underneath the previous loop, as you can see here. Now, let's pull from both ends of the twine, bring all the loops together, and pull it tight to keep this first knot in place. There are many other variations of knots, but more on that in another video. We will show you some of the best lacing techniques and some useful tips, although any other suggestions are very welcome. To lace the rest of the cable, a simple overhand knot will do. Now, when it comes to software, some of you may be thinking of using a CAD software like CATIA and write down in a piece of paper or type in a spreadsheet some lengths and what end of the cable goes where. This is totally fine. But if you want to take your harness to the next level, you should be thinking of using some dedicated wiring software along with CATIA, like Rapid Harness, which is the one we are currently using. So here's a quick rundown on what Rapid Harness is capable of. Basically, there are three electrical components one can design. Harnesses, systems and devices. To put it simply, a device is a box with connectors. In this example, the orange and pink boxes are devices that could represent, for instance, an accumulator container. To make the wiring layout less chaotic, you can drag the connectors at your convenience and mate or unmate them from the harness. Besides, you can add some layout points to make everything more pleasing to the eye and have a more organized harness drawing to put later on on the wiring table. Moving on to the harnesses, these are made of cables and connectors that you can design from scratch or pick one from Rapid Harnesses libraries. It is possible to add lengths taken from any CAD model, and once again, it is possible to add some more layout points. But the icing on the cake is the wiring tables that you don't have to make manually. This way, you have a detailed list of what wires go into what connector, the length and the pin where each cable is connected to. It is just wonderful. So, this was a very brief introduction to Rapid Harness. We will leave some links below just in case you want to learn more about this software. Okay, so the third thing I wanted to show you is the wire tagging machine. But before I get into that, let me show you the results first. So this is it. It is a lag neck sealer, as simple as that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know in the comments below. Um, and stay safe. Bye.